pictures for like Vicky. And then they have like a giant picture wall in the back with a cheese on it. And then like a the hayride. Awesome, awesome. So Sabrina just found a shirt she liked right now. Sabrina, what shirt is it? What shirt is it? Support your local farmer. This is a really cool area. Right now we're in like the kind of marketplace side of uh, Berry Farms. So you can get like t-shirts here, see some good fruit. <laughs> we would have an ambiance of like uh, some music behind us. Yeah, live music and also they have great jam and honey. I definitely recommend the strawberry jam because you can also go strawberry picking. Yo, what's up? This is Martino. And I'm Sabrina. And we're Beyond the Beach. The purpose of this show is to show you cool spots in Miami that you didn't know about. And today we're at Berry Farms here in the Redlands in Miami. And actually, Sabrina's the one that showed me this place. So Sabrina, tell them about it. Yeah, so I wanted to go strawberry picking for my birthday last year and Birdberry Farms, originally what it was named, uh, was the location we went to and we're back here. It is now called Berry Farms and they did a lot of great renovations so we're excited to show you around. But yeah, we were here for her birthday. Here are some pictures of that uh, last year. But um, yeah, if you want to see, here's the address. We'll put the address somewhere as to where the location is. But yeah, the, cool, the reason this place is so cool is because you can do so many things. It's a very family oriented place, but on top of that, you can get some awesome fruit, awesome fresh market, uh, you know, items and things for your kitchen and stuff like that. And it's just a, like a good way to spend your Saturday. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. As you can see behind us, there's a wonderful sunflower field and you can even bring some home. So add things to, you know, like your kitchen table. And Martino was mentioning the farmer's market, which is amazing. Gives some fresh juice. And also we have the live music in the background and they also have barbecue pits. So yeah. you even just got a shirt, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Support <laughs> your local farmers. They're very important. They're you won't very be able important. to eat without them. Why so. are local farmers important, Sabrina? You won't be able to eat without them. Your economy, your local economy would not be the same. And again, who doesn't love delicious food? Exactly. So let's go ahead and show you Berry Farms. We'll take you around, share some cool stories, and enjoy the Saturday with us. Oh my god, there's bees. Oh, I should oh. Let's go get some baskets. I want to go pick some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much here at Berry Farms. There's even little flowers. Fellas, if you want to go for a first date, I'm telling you, this is the spot. Tip number one, if you want to go strawberry picking, you gotta get baskets. <laughs> we forgot that we were over there. Yeah. Back we go. I'm about to, I'm about to go pick some strawberries. <laughs> Here, you get a basket. Thank you. Off I go. <laughs> I don't even know how to drive six shit. So the cool thing about Berry, Berry Farms is that there's just so much to do. As you see, you can bring your family, go bouncing over here. 
if you're an adult, there's some beer here that you can go grab too. You can get smoothies, you can get food. It's just ice a, cream sundaes as well. Ice With cream the strawberries sundae. you picked. How fulfilling is that? Yeah, you wanna do that later? Hell yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, there's so much to do here. Great for a date, great for a family, great for even if you wanna get some fresh air by yourself. Highly recommend it. Let's continue going. And now, unlimited strawberry picking. There you go, babe. Thank you. Sabrina, go give your pro tips. Go do this. Go give your pro tips like a section. I'll go over here. See, at least for me, you gotta like go through the leaves and look underneath. See, that's where you find the best ones. Just get down and dirty, find your hands. Look at that beauty. Also can be like mushy sometimes. Yeah, they can be mushy. You'll look find some insects on this one. Here. Look at this. Nice cute little bushel right here. Beautiful. What do you think so far, Kendrick? Looks amazing. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the best one so far. Yeah, for all the strawberry lovers, here's a big secret. At the beginning, of the strawberry field, most of the good strawberries are already picked. You gotta go in the back <laughs> to get the good strawberries. So we have to go all the way down there. I mean, should we just find some right now though? It's like pro tip, get here early in the season to get the big ones that are super red. Like we're fine, we're getting some luck. But if you want, again, for the strawberry lovers, get here early. Look at this bro. Smash. I see it might look a little bit dirty, but this is a great striver right here. Another pro tip, bring some sunscreen. You're gonna need it, trust me. Some good advice. Look at that. Oh, no, look at that look at one. That. Oh. That's kinda, is it beat though? It's a little beat, but that's nature. You don't want no beach I think that's, a, that's another great thing about this. Like you'll kind of learn that like not everything's gonna be perfect. You go to a grocery store and everything is made perfect just for your eye to feel comfortable. But this is nature. Like your strawberry is not gonna be the perfect triangle. You're gonna have some strawberries that are a little beaten down, but that's how they are. You know? That's so true. It is true. Yeah. It's a good representation of people. Everybody is different. No, we're not all square, triangle. Some square, people are square. Square strawberries. <laughs> we do not leave until all the berries are picked. No berry left unturned. This is what strawberry is supposed to look like. I should have said earlier, like, show us the grocery store. Oh, that's so perfect. Do you think there's enough strawberries? Yeah. Kendrick, do you agree this is enough? I think so. Should we get a few more? I think we did a great job. What do you think? I think we did a good job. Let's do it. So, Shabrina, now that we're done picking the strawberries, what should we go do? I think we should make a smoothie or a milkshake. A smoothie or a milkshake? What do you think? Smoothie or milkshake, Kendrick? I I'll, say smoothie. Sm smoothie? I think smoothie too. I think smoothies. Probably True. The way to go. We're the non-dairy team right here. Can, <laughs> can you do that here at Berry Farms? Can you use the strawberries you made and make them into a milkshake or a smoothie? Well, let's go to the stand and find out. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> thank you, thank you so of much. Of course. Welcome. Say thank you. Say thank you. What's, okay. your, what's your name? Navea. Nice to meet you, Navea. How are you doing? Say nice to meet you too. Say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you look so beautiful, Navea. Say thank you. Thank you, guys. Of course. Have a great day. See, Kendrick, strawberries are like friends. If they are sour, they gotta go. Uh -huh. Found one. And if they're good strawberries, they can stay. <laughs> This is like also in the very beginning. Like, how do we miss that? All right. I think we did some damage. Oh, I went away.
You know I had to stop by and get pineapple jam. Ooh. This is something you cannot get every single day. So at the end of the day, this is what we got. We got a whole thing full of strawberries and we got some pineapple jam as well. And we all got some smoothies too. Yum. But I know we tried to go um, and make our strawberries into milkshakes, but what did they say, Sharina? Yeah, they said that even though we weren't able to use the strawberries that we picked today, the strawberries that they use for the milkshakes and the smoothies are from the farm. So it was really great again to see the local produce being used in the products here. So I actually wanted you to try a little bit of this first because I've never had a, straw, a pineapple jam. Yeah, but so, it looks delicious, honestly. I'll hold this right here. We had their strawberry jam last time and it did not disappoint. So. Yeah, yeah, we had their strawberry jam last time and that was good, but I've never had pineapple jam before. I'll do the honors. Is it good? You know what? I'm not mad at it. It'll, you try it and give okay. me your thoughts. Then Kendrick, I'm gonna have you try some too, bro. I wish oh you. God, okay, cool. I want you to try it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. so good. And you taste the freshness of Kendrick. it. Kendrick. A little bit. Damn, that's actually really good. So Kendrick, what do you yeah. think? About, what do you think about the whole place, man? That's your first time here. This place is fire. I give it like ten out of ten. Ten. Woo! Okay, damn. 10 out of 10. Let's go. Perfect score. <laughs> but we also had some smoothies um, yeah. from the stand. And as I mentioned before, the strawberries that are in our smoothies were from the farm. So I got the Island Quench. And what did you get, Martino? <laughs> I got strawberry and banana. Nice. So good. I'm about to try mine. Yummy. It's good, right? Mm-hmm. Super refreshing. It has been a successful day at the Berry Farm. It has. We showed you guys sunflowers, that's what they're called, right? Sunflowers. Sunflowers. Strawberry picking. Strawberry picking. Um, where you can eat, where you can get the farmer's market, fresh fruits, the jams, hayride, hayride um, section for birthday parties, playgrounds, live music, barbecue pits. What better place is there to be than the Berry Farms on a Saturday? Yeah, Berry Farms, great place to be. We really enjoyed it. A good place for friends, family, a date, maybe date even like a you know, group for, like, yeah, it's good for everything. So if you're ever in Miami, come here, you won't, just, you won't be disappointed. And this completes our episode of the Berry Farms or Beyond the Beach. Yay! Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll leave a link down below and share this video with your friends and family and come to Miami. Grown in the 305. <laughs>